things that we've always done, um, Daisy and I. Ever since I was like four or six, that sort of age. Do a little thing called riding the jet lag, <laughs> which is where both of us wake up super early. And rather than try and sleep it off, what do we do? Just go for a little wonder. We go for a little wonder. And the great thing about that is, if you haven't stayed on the resort before, it really helps you get your bearings for the rest of the day and the rest of the holiday. So you can see where your bus stop is, have a look where the shops are, have a look where the restaurants are. So yeah, sorry, we we landed. We got here late yesterday and we're all a bit sort of out of it. So we grabbed a quick burger and a couple of drinks and went went to bed. So probably went to bed about nine o'clock American time. Yeah. And now, so that was like half past one in the morning UK time. So now it is quarter to six, so 5.45 American time. So just before 11 a.m. England time, which is pretty good. So it's not like super, super early, but yeah. So we're just on the, on the walk around, having a look at the resort. And it's quite a unique time to have a look at the resort because no one else is about other than gardening staff and support staff. So yeah, we'll have a little, I always do it in my pyjamas. Yeah, I just stuck one of Daisy's old hats on and we're not looking our best, but no one's about. Here's a look at one of the buildings in Old Key West. And um, yeah, we're going to head down to the main part and have a look around there. So we've probably not mentioned it before, but Old Key West is our favourite Disney resort. There is just something something amazing about it, isn't there? Yeah. Um, we like it because the accommodation really suits us. We have a one bedroom villa, so it's got one bedroom for Tracy and I. Pull out big sofa for Luke and a pull out chair for Daisy. One of the main reasons we like it is because um, it has a really laid back feel about it. The on site restaurant, Olivia's. <laughs> It's amazing. So good. It all feels like so family. Yeah. Here. So, um, yeah. yeah. It's just like nice. Here's another look at one of the big buildings. But one of the main points for us is <clears throat> we're huge fans of Disney Springs, which is the, the part of Disney World, which is just bars and shops and restaurants. It's just amazing. And the transportation in Disney World is amazing so you can get to all the parks and buses however the way that we like to get to Disney Springs is on the water ferry so you won't be able to see too much here but this is like a river that runs all around the resort the Sasagula River <laughs> and um, there's like a ferry port so you hop on the ferry and it just takes you down to downtown Disney. In the sun, when it's like sunny, it's so like relaxing on the way there. I just love it, I love it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that's one of the huge reasons that we like to stay on Old Key West. Um, it's the same setup at Saratoga Springs, which we love, but the accommodation isn't 100% right for us because they only have one sofa bed and not a chair bed as well. Um, and I think the Port Orleans resorts have um well the have have the ferry as well there. Yeah, oh yeah yeah. Okay, so what's the date today? 18th. 18th of Saturday the 18th of August 2018. It's coming up six o'clock in the morning and it is quite warm. It is, I'd say it's about like um I'm not sure about 20 degrees already. Nice. So like for this time in the morning anywhere that's pretty warm. And it's super warm. And here's a look, we're coming up to the, the pool area. And the whole resort is set up like a resort in the Florida Keys. The lighthouse is on. And the lighthouse is on. I'm not sure if you can see it. Might see a stroby bit going around, but we'll click to that in a sec. Okay, so this is the early morning view of like the whole centre. I'm not sure what this camera's going to be like in low light, so we'll do it a bit again in a second but yeah that's the lighthouse doing its thing
Well, something really cool happened yesterday. <clears throat> when, um, oh, hold on a second. So this is Bell Services on the right. They're gonna help you with your luggage. Um, we had all of our luggage taken to our resort on like a, golf cart. yeah, on like a golf cart, like yeah. a stretch golf cart. <clears throat> so there's seven of us, loads of bags, and a chap called Fred helped us all there. So when we got there, my friend tipped him, unbeknown to me, and then when I went to tip him, um, he wouldn't take it. He just said, no, your friend's already sorted me out. So props to Fred. Oh. That's the Conch Flats General Store. You get pretty much everything in there, don't you? Yeah, also it's a, pretty, it's a good size, it's not too big. Yeah. I think this mailbox is an actual mailbox, you can send stuff in there. You have check-in and reception and all the help you're going to need from there. Tracy had a bit of a panic yesterday because all of her fast passes on the on her My Disney Experience were coming up five hours ahead. But what she didn't realise it was because of the time difference, but there was a bit of a panic. This is Olivia's. <clears throat> and there are pictures on the wall of all the original BBC members. The Old Key West is a Disney Vacation Club resort. Um, we're not members, we'd love to be, but it doesn't really stack up for us in the UK because of all the little perks that we get. It's a bit noisy because everybody's doing a bit of cleaning. So we're going to head down to the pool and show you the pool area. So this is the outside seating area of Olivia's. We always like to sit out here. The food in there is amazing. The chicken's amazing. The steak's amazing. Here's the pool area. So, this is all still Olivia's on the left. And this is the tiny little bar here called the uh, Gurgling Suitcase. They do draft beers and cocktails, which is a nice place to, to sit and hang. This is the quick service area. We had burgers from there. What did you have? I had chicken nuggets. It was so good. You didn't choose the Nug Life. The Nug Life chose me. <laughs> and these are the Surrey bikes that you can rent. So they take four people, so you hop in and tear about. Oh, this is the uh, community hall. So, you went in here last time with Olivia, didn't you? Yeah. And what sort of activities so going like on in there? Colouring, like sticking and gluing. Sticking and gluing. Um, painting sometimes. Yeah, yeah, do ice cream making as well sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. And they had, they always have a film on in there. Yeah. So if you don't, feel, if like you have kids who don't feel like going in the pool, just go in there and they can watch a load of films. Yeah, and it's always staffed up, so everybody's like super helpful. sure how busy arcades get nowadays because of things like PlayStation and Xbox. Yeah like no one goes in there. No but there's a small little arcade in there and here's a look at the pool. So the pool's not open yet. Look at the pool hours. Nine till ten. There's the lighthouse again. Yeah. So for those of you that are super into Disney, you'll see at the bottom of the slide, there is a hidden Mickey. That's where you come out of. That's where we get the boat, I haven't mentioned that. Yeah. Power return. Yeah. So when you come down to the pool, all of the towels are, lit, are included, so you just grab a towel and when you're done with it, pop it in the towel return. <clears throat> Got some table tennis. Oh yeah. you never guess who I saw in there last time. Okay. I saw Aladdin in there and he was working out. No, he was working out and he was singing. Do you know what he was singing? What? 
a swole new world. Oh my god, I'm so bad. So I won't go up too close because people are in there training, but yeah. It's a good gym. Um, toilets and showers and changing rooms. And changing rooms. This, this facility is amazing because on your last day, when you go to check out, although we don't like to talk about it this early on, on your last day, when you go to check out, um, you leave all of your gear with guest services, uh, with bell services, and then uh, so you leave all your luggage with them, and then you go and do what you want to do for the day, and then obviously you won't be able to get back in your room, but what we do, we use those facilities to take a shower, get changed, get freshened up. It's brilliant. So. It's so your last day, you're not thinking, oh, I don't want to get out about too much and get sweaty because I've got to get on a plane. Well, I don't want to get on a plane uh, having just been in a pool. Yeah, so you can just go in there and get fresh for your flight. Shuffleboard area. We've never done this. I don't know the rules. <laughs> and then you got... Can we really see it over there? Tennis courts over there. A little beach area over there. With a volleyball. Yeah, with a volleyball net and some hammocks. Ah, oh, and that's where you can do the s'mores in the evening. Yeah. So that we can show you guys that tomorrow today. Yeah. Because it's a bit creepy down there at night because I'm I'm scared of alligators and it's right by the lake. So. Yeah. It is fine in the day, but in the dark you can't see as well. Yeah. So yeah, they they got a fire pit down there. So in the evening. Um, all the cast members, so the cast members are the people that work here. Um, they put on s'mores, so they light the fire pit up and um, yeah, have and it's, some s'mores. It's free. It's, so, it's free and you can just go along and make s'mores and they give you like a little kit. So yeah. Yeah, super cool. Okay, so here's the little beach area and here's like the kiddie bit. Playground. Oh yeah, and the playground. So yeah, you've got like really, really shallow pools there. Um, yeah, they bring your buckets and spades down and I'm not too good with sand and water, ah, it freaks me out. <laughs> so this is the little play area. So if you are down here with tiny children, you know, you've got that little area over there where you can just cut through. You know, it's a super cool playground. Look, someone's over there, looks like they're mowing the sand. Mowing the sand. Mowing the sand. <laughs> so this area up here is where you get the ferry boat to and from Disney Springs. It only opens at 10. Right. So you can't get it before 10, but I don't, most of Disney Springs doesn't open till about 10 anyway. So. Yeah. So it really is like the best way to travel down there. It's a shame that it only goes to Disney Springs. It'd be cool if it went to other resorts. Get my, you're not getting my body. <laughs> it would be good if it went to other resorts. Yeah. So yeah, you just, Hop on the ferry, it picks you up from there. You get a bit of a toot toot as they're coming and going. And then down to Disney Springs. So all the bus stops seem to have vending machines. You get your ice cold drinks, so what we got here. And Coke products. Though they are quite expensive. Yeah. So See your price, but yeah, I would imagine they're pretty pricey. Um, and free ice, so if you've never been to America. If you've never been to America before, everybody's super into their ice, but yeah. So we stayed on Old Key West a few times. This is chip number four, four. Um, and we're in a different area this time. So around the resort, you've got the main big pool, and then there are a couple of other pools scattered about. So this year, we are closest to what's it called? What, the pool? Yeah. Uh, Turtle Pond, I think. I don't, I'm not sure if it's got... Turtle Shack. I think Turtle Shack turtle might... Turtle something. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to go and scope that out. Um, looks like it's got a little snack bar. Probably won't be quite as good or as impressive as the main pool. But it's... Looks like it's super close. We're going to pop down there also, now. We are quite far away from Hospitality House. Yes. But, the area we're in is really nice. Yeah. It's like kind of, I mean, obviously we're seeing a bit more of it today, but it's it's quite close and like friendly. What is that? Yeah. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't know. What is that? Don't know. No, it's not like. Yeah. 
Someone can tell us what that is. Yeah. It's probably like, I don't know. I really yeah. It's probably like someone cleaning windows with like a squeegee bit. Or a massive alligator. Is that the noise they make? That's though? exactly the noise no, they make. <laughs> Right. Okay, so we've made it to the village pool. I think this might be open 24 hours, so we're gonna. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's nice isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Lots of beds. Life jackets for free, so you'll be all right, Daisy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Little snack bar. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. It does look good. Yeah, so chicken burgers, that sort of stuff. Another flying fish, what's that? Games room. There's a, there's a drinks machine in there. Oh yeah. And a guitar hero. And space invader. Pretty cool. Very cool. More table tennis. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and lawn, is that lawn? Yeah, laundry. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, why not? <gasps> Aircon. <laughs> That's really good. <clears throat> one of the main reasons, not one of the main reasons, but one of the reasons we like Disney Springs so much and the villas here is because in your room you have a washer dryer, so you don't have to bring all of your clothes, so you can just, you know, just wash and go as you like. However, that's only in the villas from a one bedroom villa upwards. So one bedroom villa, two bedroom villa and the grand villas. So the studios don't have these sort of amenities. So this is a really good offering. Um, yeah. I don't know how Yeah. I don't know how you pay for them. But yeah, it's good. More shuffleboard. Custom corn toss. I think that's like one of the little biscuits. Oh yeah, all the bits are out. I'm gonna... Oh sweet. <laughs> yeah. There's another playground. Gizzards. That's really cool. That pool. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, that noise is him pumping his pumping his um, pressurised weed killer up. Not, as we thought, a alligator. Lovely pool. It's really nice. Also, the sun is rising right now and it's beautiful. And if you've got any sort of mobility issues. Handicap access. Yeah. Oh. This is so nice. Oh, I think there's a hot tub there. Where? Over there. Yeah. It's only a small one, but... To our rooms were whispering because it's probably still like seven o'clock in the morning so we just got back from our walk we're going back get ready for the day have a coffee but this resort is just lovely <laughs> 